Hello and welcome to my shop. I've got a quick video for you today on how to use an off-the-shelf metal die and off-the-shelf piece of HDPE to make handy lathe accessories such as a faceplate centering tool or even a chuck wall mount. Let's get started. So the setup for this operation is all about keeping the piece of HDPE centered and secure between the die and the tail sock. So on the cutting end, I've got my, my die uh, centered in my chuck. Uh, the chuck itself nor the jaws are super important as long as you're able to grip the die and such that it stays centered when you spin it. And then on the other end, um, I have a shop made cone, con concave center, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, it's just a chunk of wood that screws onto my robust live center uh, which has a concave in it. So the concavity traps one end of the rod and um, as I move the tail stock in, pushes it into the die um, in an even fashion. <clears throat> so let's get started. So I'm going to trap the piece of plastic between the cone center and the die, but first I need to lock the tail stock because we're going to be turning this with the vice grips and the die stays fixed. There we go. And the thread pitch on the die, eight threads per inch, uh, seems to be the exact same as on my tail stock quill. So up, as I move the, move the piece of plastic around, I, I am able to move the tail stock wheel at the same rate. So it's a pretty intuitive process. All right, so it looks, looks centered. I've got even curlies coming off of all parts of the die. And I'm just going to continue threading until the rod bottoms out through the, through the die. Now you can't see it, but of course I'm advancing my tailstock. At the same time, I'm advancing the plastic. This doesn't require a tremendous amount of force. This HCP is pretty, pretty soft stuff. Um, so, should be a pretty intuitive, gentle operation. Almost there, I think. All right, I think we bottomed out. Great, I'm gonna take away the tail stock. like a party with streamers. That looks pretty good. One that I did before looked a little cleaner, but these, uh, these are utilitarian threads. We're not going to be submitting these into any machining contests. A faceplate centering guide is probably going to be the most useful thing you can make out of um, your own threaded piece of plastic. I hear some quick notes on how to make this guy. Um, I made this a year or three ago, so I don't fully remember how I made it. I apologize. Um, but as you can see, it's a threaded piece of HCPE cut off, um, and there's about a quarter inch brass rod thread or sent through the middle of it. And on the end of the brass rod, I just scraped away uh, a point. Uh, you can turn brass on a wood turning lathe, no problem. Um, just chuck it up securely. A collet chuck uh, is best. And with a freshly, shape, <laughs> freshly sharpened scraper, um, just gently uh, worry away some of the brass and keep your tool rest very close to the material. No problemo. Uh, steel is a much different animal on a wood lathe than a soft material like brass. Uh, then the other, only other operation here would be accurately drilling through the center of the plastic. Um, and for that, I believe that I used uh, the set of these uh, little pin jaws. Um, pretty sure. 
but really any jaw would work as long as they can grip it securely. And so with the faceplate center, uh, these, were, these are nice for when uh, you're, you're mounting a piece of material where uh, you don't have a lot of margin for error. Normally when you're mounting a faceplate on say a, a bowl blank, who gives a crap? You know, just get it kind of centered and you'll probably have lots of extra material um, to play with. Uh, but for example, the other day I was mounting on a pre-cut circle of plywood where I didn't have a lot of wiggle room. So I used my faceplate center to get my faceplate nicely secure or centered on the blank. So you thread it in there nice and snug and now your brass pin can move around. So you give yourself lots of extra brass pin, boop, pop it in your little centering hole and then gently lower it down and Bob's your uncle, you can secure your faceplate down nicely centered. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, check the description for where to buy the die and the HDPE. And as always, leave any questions down below. Thanks for watching.